All right, guys, today we're gonna cover this bridge collapse that happened in Newton County on uh, I-20, uh, parallel to I-20. It's a bridge um, that they were removing for a new construction. So um, they were doing some saw cutting and some, had that, that excavator, that track hoe, you see the yellow piece of equipment in the truck and there was a couple of saws there that's sitting in the water. So, um, and we'll be discussing what we think went on out there. So can you imagine being up here and on a track hoe and all of a sudden that thing, this bridge that collapses, it appears to me the guys were up here uh, you know, cutting this, uh, taking out a span which is about 70 feet long I think it was and to me it looks like they were doing some relief cut somewhere or some kind of damage to the bridge with that saw and they underestimated the amount of damage they were doing and then that heavy track hoe and that truck combined and a little vibration next thing you know they're in the river so all right so as long as that track hoe was working on somewhere close to that column he would have kept his weight on that and it would have been fine but in my opinion they were out here in this area doing some kind of cuts to uh you know, partially weakened the bridge for its removal. And at some point there was a miscalculation made and they did a lot more damage than they knew they were. So, uh, these bridges, that bridge was open to traffic until last week, I think. So in my opinion, you know, that bridge has been inspected and there's no way it just all of a sudden collapsed. So the collapse is some, some way related to that uh, saw cut operation going on. So we're out here on I-185, Troop County, bringing you interesting topics for discussion. Sometimes some humor is included, sometimes not. Road Builder 99, signing off.